Hey, I'm Jay Thomas. Welcome to this week's edition of Hot Rod Hangout. We're looking at what's new at the showroom here on 50, 50, 51st. Faithful Avenue near 51st Street. That's what I'm trying sure? to say. It's I'm pretty sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she kind of does that sometimes. <laughs> uh, thanks for joining us. We got, uh, what, a couple cars to look at today. Three? Yeah, it's been more of a selling week than a buying week. Yeah, it has, actually. We talked about, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, um, quite a few of our Two? rolling out of here. Two today? Uh, yeah, more, more than that. So across the street, there's that dart that's left, that big... That no, black. but the new ones, I mean. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Anyways, thanks for joining us. We've got some cool stuff to check out, stuff you haven't seen yet. A couple that uh, we've had around here for a little while. Ones that have just arrived and they're actually going to be on their way out again, too. Don't forget, coming up on Saturday morning, again, 9 till noon, is Rides at Rod. So you can uh, bring out your car, muscle car, hot rod, motorcycle, whatever it is that you're happy to be driving around on Saturday morning. Come stop on by. We'll have goodies up for free, free coffee, uh, and just come hang out. Pull through the winds. And, uh, oh, man. Oh, I can hear it. Yeah, like it's just whistling, the roof's rattling in here, the doors rattle. Yeah. Don't like wind. It's no enough. Wind. That's enough. Yeah. If anybody's listening, that's enough wind. And we've had enough rain, too. Yeah. I think we should be happy now. Like, let's get some sunshine and hot no temperatures. Wind. Yeah. We, we haven't even had a hot day yet. Not really. Think. No. Like, like I'm still wearing jeans. I know. Like I'm, a, I'm a shorts guy. And I haven't even put shorts on yet. And it's June. My underground sprinklers aren't even on yet. We've had that much rain. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Okay, we're going to start with what's to my left, your right, uh, as our first one. Because we're sad to see this one's going too. Yeah, I know that is crazy. Beautiful, beautiful truck. Yep. But we're going to look going at another one of our really good customers in Alberta. Yep, absolutely. Another beautiful, beautiful truck right here. This one's hard to explain. Just the look of the truck, the color, like I, I still don't know. Is if it's blue or green. It's like a very cool aqua color. Like the key tag that somebody wrote, it says green, but... That's not green. Is, is it blue? It's turquoise. It's aqua. It's, uh, I don't know, peacock blue. It's gorgeous. With a hint of green. It's a 65? 65 C10. Uh, this is actually sitting on a square body chassis. Oh, okay. So a little bit more modern. Um, Rides really well. Sounds good. Starts right up. I love, there's a couple details in here that are just phenomenal. Interior's well done. New, new retro rear gauges. Retro stereo. Yeah, retro Dolphin stereo. Gauges. Exactly. Really nice upholstery. Actually, the gray is kind of nice because up here, we got like a gray roof that goes along with this entire stripe in here that goes all the way down the side. I think that looks phenomenal. Even the wood in the in the bed here, it's got it's, it's yeah. not it's like a darker. But it's got a gray tinge to it. Yeah. It comes off a bit brown in the video, but it, it's got a bit of a gray to it as well. So that's wheels really, look good. Really the well ties done. in like everything just ties in. Yeah. It's got a like a Sits really good so look. Nice. The paint is so nice on this truck. Basically a, a new build though, right? Like this was. Yeah, it's the paint was just done. Um, the wheels and tires and yeah. Um, chrome is beautiful. Should yeah, pop chrome looks all new. Now there is something sad you'll see, and that's uh, yeah. that's that sign. Yeah, but stuff, it's staying local though. Is it really? Yeah. Yeah. Stuff like this doesn't last long around here, and that's just reality. It's big block. It yeah. It really well. Right on. New dual exhaust. Looks like the rad was just done. Yep. It's just yeah, it's uh, it's pretty cool. Power brakes, power steering. Actually, we, we like this color so much. We actually, I was mentioning. We have a 59 Impala that we're doing, and I can't pick a color for that car. I'm thinking, man, this would be a nice color for that car. Wouldn't it? It really would. And if you're doing a two-tone, you do that charcoal gray. Yeah, you use this gray from the top again. For I, that 59 Impala. Yeah, I think it would be you a, know, I think it's, I, that might be the way to go. Nice we, have the, we have the code now for this, right? Yeah, we do. We figured out what it is, so. Yep. Uh, and even, even the wheels, I think, match pretty nice with the, like, the bit of darker gray in here. I don't know. I think it's a well done truck. It's a good package. Yeah, definitely. It's been super popular. Um, it's no it, wonder it didn't last long around here. Be a lot of disappointed people. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know what? It's funny. Uh, even this custom piece in here is awesome. We, we've had lots and lots of calls. Tons. Like, hey, uh, can you give me some details on that 65? Uh, sorry, she sold. Yeah. Oh, you know, like stuff like that. Yeah. Lots of those phone calls. So nice, nice truck. I guess. Um, Truck is the right word for today's video, right? Yeah, we well, we got we're, we're we're all truck this uh, 
this video. There's that one, well, we just got one back. A couple yes. little touch-ups. A couple little touch-ups. This is the other one everybody's been one. calling about, which I also- I showed this one last week, but it was, we just yeah. got it in. It is now cleaned up and gone yeah. through and a few details buttoned up. Nice truck. Apache, 59 Apache. Nice wood on the bed again. And this might be another one that uh, by the end of today might have a hold sign on it, so. Yeah, I think this one might be gone. It's it's cool, drives drives great. Boy, this one gets looks going down the road. Man, oh man. Oh, just out in the sun, it's a different truck. Yeah, yeah, it's very like sunburst orange, you know, burnt orange, it's, it's pretty cool. It's, it's black. Perfect look to it. Totally. Definitely. Talk about another truck that gets looks. I've had people when I've driven this truck, this next truck, literally like take pictures of it in a parking lot. I've had people roll, roll the window down and, and they're taking pictures as we're driving, but it's nothing really special, but this is what I'm driving. This exactly. is my daily driver exactly. for right now. It's a 2018 uh, Chev Silverado double cab. So it's got the six and a half box. Now here's what, here's what most people are taking pictures of is this right down here. This is kind of cool, yeah. Quad pipes coming out the center of the back there, which is really awesome. We have a few finishing touches. This was actually a truck that has gotten a little bit of rehab here, right? Yep, and there's still a little bit more to go. That's a little more, more to grow. Like, like, you know, we've got some some home home smoked tail lights in here. Those are getting changed out. It's got a lot of new paint on it, which is awesome. Didn't have wheels like that when we got it, nope. but we had those we had those sitting around, didn't we? Uh, no. No, did I, we find those somewhere? Yeah. yeah, I found the wheels. The tires are brand new. Um, I got a new antenna, a proper one. I, yeah, not, uh, not, so, my, not so not happy with, flavor. The, with the pink bullet there. I got more of a factory antenna. <laughs> um, yeah, and the new taillights are going on. The it's you know what it's cool because it's lowered. It's got a really pretty sinister look to it. Actually, a great sound. It's four wheel drive. Too. It's four wheel drive, right? So it's one of those trucks that like could look good all year round. Yep. Kind of doing its thing, you know. Just, you know, still useful as a normal truck, obviously, but has got the flavor that we're always looking for around here. Right? Well, funny thing is I got my brand new diesels parked right out back here. Yeah. Like it's like brand new. And I don't drive it, I drive this. Yeah. I have so much fun driving it. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna pop the hood here. Yeah, because there's, there's, there's one more surprise under the hood, isn't there? Well, this is the fun factor. This is the fun factor. The truck looks cool. Yeah, it looks cool, but sounds good. One of the reasons why I like to drive it, not just because it looks cool but because of this because it is cool and it is fast and it's got that sitting on Look top of that it. magnuson supercharger yeah. on top of a 5.3 ls wow uh long tube header just long list of stuff done davenport pulley like it's uh yep it's pretty fun the, like, the wine is cool um it's not overpowered like the want the the wine isn't ridiculous you just hear it once in a while I mean, yeah, when you're on it when you're on it when you're on it but when you're driving it normally it's not you know two in your face like but you can drive this like good. a regular, like I've been driving it just like a regular truck. It's, you know, it's it kind of nice. I love driving the old stuff too, but this has got like Bluetooth so you can talk on the phone and it's got there's, there's little things that you get kind of kind of used to. Yep. And it's fast. It's. You just, you just see my driveway. <laughs> <laughs> I save it so it's not on the street. I go, I go down the driveway and it, it looks like a, like a, uh, just like a runway when the, when the planes land, <laughs> all those marks on the driveway. You've partially repaved it is what you're saying. Yeah. With rubber. Cool. Yeah. Pretty sweet truck. It's got posy. It's got posy. I can, I can show you the, <laughs> I can show you the proof. <laughs> so yeah, we like to have some fun with, you know, stuff like this. That's, you know, a little bit more normal some, in some ways, but a little bit less normal in some ways too. I so. didn't have it washed, but I, it's, it's so windy today. It's just, tricky. yeah, it was washed. It was, it was clean. And then now it's oh, all. I got the keys for this one. Oh, do you? Okay. Maybe we should start this up. Yeah. Awesome. Sounds pretty good. And yes, I revved it up, but I, I was just driving it, so, they, it's so it was not the hot. temperature. Engine's hot. Nice, nice stuff. Yeah, kind of all blacked out. Like it that, like that. Yeah. And we got a, like I said, a few more things. We got some new rear mud flaps that are yep. that are going on this thing. Just, well, the problem is yeah. because I mean, look, it's, it's so low that you back into a curb if it, you're not if you're not trained to drive a lowered vehicle. Yeah, and you crack it and bust it. Yeah. So, so I got a new set. Then. Yeah, we got a new set that's going on. Actually, you know what's funny? 
is not funny, but our uh, our own Ken that works across at the other shop there. Yep. He's been asking about this truck. Has he? So possible that this may stay in the family. Oh. So it's possible we did a video this week with three sold trucks in it, is what you're saying. It's possible. <laughs> Well, that's kind, of, first time. that's kind of it for, for today. We got what else coming? Like we've got we got a really cool 57 Chevy short box step side 4x4 yeah. on a newer chassis. Yep. New paint, uh, flip front end. It's got a really cool look. Yeah. Lift kit and big tires and can't wait to see that. And just bought last night, it'll be here on the weekend. 1980 square body Chevy. Uh, short box step side two wheel drive brand new like a tangerine like kind of like this color oh uh, yeah brighter pearl, though. like brighter full, pearl orange yeah it's uh yeah it's a pretty wicked truck awesome um a really cool look to it so that'll be here for the weekend so we got at least a couple more for next week perfect and then see what other damage i do yeah exactly you never know it's you never yet. know hey hope to see you at rides at rods nine till noon coming up on saturday otherwise if you want to take one of these beauties home start at rodshotrods.ca Pictures, pricing, details all there. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next week here on Hot Rod Hangout.